Well, this is still the AM show, if you're just tuning in. And President Kufado, he has admitted that he made a mistake in his comment regarding the construction of a harbour in Cape Coast. In a recent interview on Cape Coast-based Eagle FM, he denied that the new patriotic party made any commitment to undertake the said infrastructure project in the region. On a crowd-based Peace FM on Thursday, the president said, quote, let me just confess it. I made a mistake. Residents of Cape Coast have been reacting. I don't understand the apology. What he's saying, I, I, I don't understand it. Is he apologizing that uh, he lied on Eagle FM? Or is he apologizing that he's no longer going to build a harbor for us? You see, and what we have at Elimina is not, it's not a harbor that he promised Cape Coast. What Nando has done, Nando has told people of Cape Coast that we should all start crying. He, he, he has told that Cape Coast, our father has died, our mother has died. So what we have Cape Coast now is funeral. So from tomorrow, we Cape Coasters, we are going to put on black. We are going to mourn Nanado. We are going to put on black because he has deceived us. And we are demanding, we the youth of Cape Coast, we are demanding our harbor and the airport that he promised because it is in his manifesto. I can't say that you were in the Navy at this man. The moment people make you cry, Bahumia, next time you can, Bahumia, you want to say to her, well, but there you go. Or will be there, or the Bamu Gafu, or your harbor, no, on your airport, no, I don't hear any a year president Nakasa Nanadu and Nancy Obella. Now, but I said, my neighbor's plane airport, I'm here, and now I'm going to be see how I'm here. I'm a little bit of a good teacher. So we'll be getting more reactions from uh, the central region when Richard Kojonyako correspondent joins us. Uh, we're going to speak with Richard Kojonyako on the initial or the reaction that's come or what's coming up for the president's comments about the harbor, the Cape Coast harbor and the apology and how people are reacting to it. Richard Kojonyako joins us now, central region correspondent. Hello, Richard. So we've had um, some of the people we've been speaking with from the from Cape Coast who are saying that they're not excited about what the president said. They're talking about wearing black and all of that. Do you see people wearing black uh, this morning? No, um, I've not seen uh, people wearing black today. It was a comment from one of uh, the residents there that they were going to wear black today. But I have not actually, I've stepped out today and I'm back in the house, but I've not seen people wearing black as he was suggesting. But people, are saying that um, this is the place the president came to um, deny that he promised to build the harbor. And so they want the president to come here, to come back home, so they could sit down with him and then discuss the vision going forward for Cape Coast. They say that Cape Coast has been denied a fair share of the national cake. And so uh, should the president come, they will sit down with the, with him and then discuss the event going forward. But uh, they are more or less confused. They do not know whether the harbor is still going to be built now that the president has apologized. And so these are the comments from uh, the people here. But yesterday, the NDC also waded into this controversy and this matter, and they are demanding of uh, the MPP administration to actually fulfill the promises they made in their manifesto to the people of Cape Coast. They want the harbor to be built, they want the airport to be built, and any other promises that they made in the run-up to the 2020 elections, they want them to fulfill them as a matter of necessity. And so that is what is ha currently happening here. But so we have a connection, a connection challenge with uh, Richard. I'm sure that's going to be resolved uh, pretty shortly. Right, Richard, you can continue now. You are going to make another point. So uh, they, they indicate that since the MPP administration came, they've okay, we're going to be not having, yeah. done anything of significant value uh, for the people of Cape Coast. But for the NDC, they say that they can cite the Cape Coast Sports Stadium, they can cite the Kodokraba market. They want the current administration to actually tell them uh, what they have done, the significant things, things that they can touch, they can feel that they have done for the people of Cape Coast. Now, Richard, one other thing I'd want us to talk about has to do, let, let's get into what the president said, actually, about the harbors. That he, he talks about the, there's a harbor being built in, in Elmina. Tell us, tell us more about that, and that's the context to which the president gave his apology. Well, so Israel, I mean, uh, construction um, has begun uh, for a fishing port. It's not a harbor, a fishing port at Elmina. And there is one currently ongoing 
at Mori. Um, so Cape Coast is sandwiched in between these two uh, towns. So Elmina is very close to Cape Coast, about five kilometers away from Cape Coast. Mori is also about five kilometers from Cape Coast. So for the president, they need to have a rethink about the, the need for the establishment of a, a harbor if Elmina is getting a fishing port and Mori is also getting a fishing port. And so, but residents are saying that once the promise has been made, it ought to be fulfilled. In the run-up to the, uh, in the, 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 the launch of the manifesto in Cape Coast, there were some protests and demonstration by the people that they needed airport. Those who were not in support of this airport, uh, as soon as the, the, the NPP promised the airport, they all joined the field and they decided that, well, if they have promised us, why not? Let's allow them to build the airports and the harbor for us. All right. I want also un to understand what's the difference between a landing site and a fishing port, as you're indicating. Well, so um, at the moment, there are about 10 of such landing sites that are, are being built across the coastal communities of the country. And so you have Mumford, you have Mori, you have Elmina. We have other ones that are in Greater Accra, in the Volta, and in the Western region. But the fishing port seems a bit bigger than the landing sites. Um, that is when I sought the explanation from some of the technocrats. That's what they told me. But the harbor is also, so uh, there are various levels and degrees. So the harbor is extremely larger and bigger than a fishing port. And then the fishing port is also bigger and larger than the landing sites. Now, the NDC, beyond saying that they expect the MPP to fulfill that campaign promise and saying that uh, in, in demanding of the MPP what is it they've done for the people of Cape Coast, do they intend to do anything else or are they leaving it at that? Well, so uh, when that promise of the airport and the harbor came, uh, the NDC did not say anything. They did not make any uh, a counter promise what they were going to do for the people of Cape Coast. Indeed, they have not put forward any alternative thing they are going to do for the people of Cape Coast. But they say that once there is a promise, but they, they have not promised the people of Cape Coast to do anything like that for them. And they even indicate that they didn't even promise the people of Cape Coast anything. But um, they ended up building the Kotokraba market. That is quite significant. They also uh, ended up building the Cape Coast Sport Stadium. That is also hugely significant because they see that even now international matches are even played there. It boosts the economy of Cape Coast. And so once the MPP is promising to do something for the people, it should be something of significant value, something that the indigenous would benefit and that will create jobs in the people. But they have looked at the past four years, and this is the fifth year of this administration, and nothing of that sort has been done by the people, except some of the inner routes that are being built in Cape Coast as a result of the Sino Hydro project. Thank you very much, uh, Richard Kujunyakun, for bringing us um, that update from Cape Coast, and we'll be monitoring, I believe you're monitoring the situation for us to get to get us appreciate whatever the people of uh, Cape Coast as as. I say, would also.